Hello, and welcome back to Blossom Tales, The Sleeping King. I've been kind of itching to play this even more. It's it's kind of gripping me at this point. We're in Dungeon 2, and, well, I guess we'll let this, uh, this thing take it away. The Boiling Caverns would be Lily's toughest challenge yet. Why? Is it super duper hot in there? Not just that. It was once again infested with flame spirits. And uh, all thanks to our favorite evil wizard. I see, so it used to be fine, but now we have these guys. And I, I hardly remember the controls. I am slightly worried that maybe we don't have too much left in this game. I mean, I think there's still a decent chunk. There's this dungeon, there's another dungeon, and then who knows, maybe like a final final uh, wizard... What was he called? Cro Cro Crocus? Dungeon? Something like that. So maybe we're about halfway, but that would still be kind of a short game. So we'll see. The one thing about this game that's disappointing is the sword isn't called a flower sword. Yeah, that would kind of make sense. And the sword should have like a little flower motif maybe on the hilt. That could, that could make sense. So who knows? Maybe that's like something we'll get in order to defeat Crocus once we have the, the sleeping cure thing. Maybe it's like, now you have to defeat Crocus, but you can't do it with your normal sword. You have to collect the pieces of of the, the flower sword. I don't know. Probably not, but it could be a thing. All right, so I guess we were done left and right, and we're just going up and across. Yeah, right here. Oh, never mind. We're going back down again. Oh no, the gold. Whoops. I smell a mini boss. Oh. Oh, I see. It's one of these. Uh. Wait. What? Okay, it's not one of these exactly. I see. So we can't avoid. We can't step on these uh, flower tiles and have to just push them into place. Okay. This seems very easy. Oh, we can't. No, we can go on here. Yeah, this seems easy. Just have to make sure I don't step on any red tiles, I suppose. I missed three coins, yeah. Rip. Gotta restart the game. Here we go. No mini boss, though. Yeah, this this stomp is so good. Ah, eh, whatever. I'm just gonna tank it. <laughs> this lava is too slow to bother with. Oh, damn it, I should stay there. I didn't think it went all the way. No, nope, got a heart. Those, like dragon heads? They looked like some kind of bug at first. And you get a lot of pots for healing in case you uh, 
take damage. It really is very forgiving. Yeah, I figured it was a scroll. I remember reading about a group of disciples who separated from us and fled to the boiling caverns. They broke our rules and mastered how to summon flame spirits. Sadly, they all perished after calling an ancient demon into our world by mistake. Oops. Our, uh, only our wizard Crocus is powerful enough to summon it again, but I know he'd never put the kingdom in such danger. Never ever, lovely Crocus. He wouldn't even think to do that. Once again, Stomp is the key. And just like mashing wildly. That works pretty well as well. Yeah, like a grasshopper or a cicada or a cicada, whatever. Yeah, something like that is what I initially thought when I looked at it. Ah. Okay, you can't tank through more than one. But still, they don't even do that much damage. So you can kind of just ignore everything. Oh, another one. I see. So I'm guessing we want to start by pushing this up here. Oh, can I even push it to the left at this point? Yeah, I can. It's not like it's locked in. So we do that to begin with. No, 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 we do not. Yeah, we have to wait with that one. So reset. Yeah. Okay, you don't even take damage. I thought you took damage when you stepped on there. It's just, it resets the puzzle and that's it. So we have to do this one first. Whoops. And to do that... I guess we have to use this one. That's the only one I can do. I want to use this one, and that's why I had to, like, push this out of the way to begin with. But, yeah, we can just use this block. At least the hitbox on these, uh... Error tiles aren't too, uh, or isn't too strict. Shit, wait, did I mess up? Yeah, I, I did, but I have to just push this down at this point. That'll still be fine. Just in case. Screw this. It's fine. Oh yeah, especially if you keep doing this. Maybe this is not fine. Holy crap, this is a lengthy section. Alright. That's how much damage I'll tank as a handicap. And then we get hearts. One heart, at least. Yeah, and then I could just go in and out, right? Like, I could just go back, get more? Yeah, there is, like, no reason not to do that. I missed the pot. Oh, damn it. Was the pot, like, up top? All the way up top? Ah... Uh, is this just not giving any more hearts, or maybe I'm just unlucky? Yeah, okay, just bad luck. Alright, whatever, that's fine. Let's move on. Well, finally, mini-boss time. We're in the bone zone. Whoops. So I haven't, like, re-accustomed uh, to the timing of, like, spin attacks and jump attacks and stuff. Oh, that's it.
outright barrels. Yep. That's what they do. Wow, this guy's tanky. All right, now it kind of stepped it up a little, little bit. There's more threatening monsters around. Ripped straight from Zelda, yeah, pretty much. What isn't? Oh, do they, like, stun you? Yeah, a little bit. You can't, like, move after getting hit with that. Oh, damn it, I meant to pick it up. Yeah, once again. That's, that's probably my main annoyance with the game in terms of, like, controls and design and stuff. Like, why is the sword on the A button? Why wouldn't it be on the B button instead, or the X button, and then have, like, A just be a, an interactable, like, interacting and stuff? And then you can have, like, A, X, and, uh, or I mean, X, B, and Y as your uh, item buttons. Like, Y isn't used for anything, as far as I remember, which is just weird. Wow, a lot of gold. No hearts, though. Maybe I've been a little too careless. It's just an additional challenge. Oh, here's another one of these, I see. Ah, I fucked up. Yeah, now I can't do anything here. This should be fine. There we go. In the checkpoint. And now we get all the healing. There we go. Alright. Boss time, I suppose. So I, I assume I need... What did we get here? Have I gotten an item from this, this uh, dungeon? Flame Mage. Who dares enter my sacred tomb? A knight of the rose on a quest for the king. In life, I was the high mage of the kingdom, but that was long ago. Draw your sword. It's already drawn. Well, I guess not here. I wish to see how today's knights compare to the heroes of ages past. I guess this guy's like a good guy, and then when I best him, he'll grant me the fireball spell or something. They did hint at that be being a thing, like flame magic and electric magic and stuff like that. Oh. Ow. I guess you can kind of just face tank a lot, or like, iframe a lot of it. I don't even know if I'm doing damage to him, though. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh boy. Maybe I should be using something else. The bow, perhaps? Or just bombs? Again, it's I can't really tell if I'm doing damage or not. Surely that must do quite a lot of damage if you triple shot. Maybe not. It sounds like it's doing nothing, but it's very hard to tell. And if not, what else do we do? I can't, like, reflect these or anything? Hmm. Okay, I think I'm doing damage. Yeah, I am doing damage. I guess you kind of don't want to do that. 
I suppose it's more worth it to do hit and run strats. And like bombs and stuff. Ah, well, I could have healed, but that's that's fine. Just when it seemed like Lily's adventure was over, the resurrection flower, right, of course, she carried, filled her with life and energy. Yeah, I guess I should use the potions. Oh, well, there we go. Achievements. It was calculated. Back from the, the dead. Use a resurrection flower. Yeah, if I'm gonna be wasting those automatically anyway, I was thinking like, yeah, I'll just die and redo it. It's fine. We just saved. But yeah, since it's taking these, I would rather use the potions. So I'll try and do that. I guess maybe I want the, uh, the shield here. Yeah, okay. Shield is definitely the move here. Because you can't always avoid everything. Like there, I should have just shielded. Though it's not always easy to shield. Yeah, okay. That's, that's a lot better. Oh, damn it. Yeah, it's it's hard to avoid taking damage on this guy. If maybe I'm maybe I'm supposed to use more range attacks, just throw bombs. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. The the one thing I would say is it was very hard to tell if I was even doing damage. That's like the the downside to that boss. There's so many flame effects that you can't tell what's working and what isn't. Maybe the bow was doing damage. It sounded like it was just popping off or like bouncing off. But yeah, I don't know. Boomerang. Not a fireball. And also, he just, like, vanishes without being, like, good. The knights are still strong. He's just gone. Okay. Inside the chest, Lily found a blue boomerang. This mighty weapon can hit multiple enemies in a single toss. Okay. Once again. Hmm. That has also been a certain other game series, game franchise. Curious. And yeah, it just, like, follows you, basically. Yeah. Okay. And it takes not too much energy, but still quite a decent chunk. Yeah, now we can do this. I mean, it seems better than bow. I guess that's uh, that's kind of on par for Zelda as well. Usually the, uh, the boomerang is like more convenient and better than the bow in many situations. Oh, it can't... Wait, did that just disappear in the lava? If the boomerang can't collect coins, then what are you even doing? Uh, oh, I see. And that goes past switches. So that's what we're supposed to do with that other uh, other cave. Where I couldn't, like, reach something, I think. Maybe. You think there was a face that did no damage? So, like, while he was doing certain attacks, you couldn't do damage or something to him? Maybe. Again, it was a little unclear. I assume I need a key up here. Nope, but just a lot of locks. Okay, two on each side, I suppose. I wonder if it can do hits, like more than one hit in one go. If you can uh, hit them on the way forward, or way out and way back in. And... Is that like six different exits and entrances? Yeah, okay. So I guess let's start by going left. Yeah, it's a kind of neat mechanic, at least. I mean, not new in that sense, but it's cool. Now these guys are just chumps. I feel like before I faced one that was like way tankier. Maybe that was just because I didn't use a spin attack and the spin attack is just that OP. Can this hit this? Oh, not, not that. Not that. 
It cannot. Yeah. I forgot, I need to test if we get pots or something. Whoops. We need to know if you can uh, hookshot or a boomerang items. Okay, so I think this one is the one we push to the left. Yeah. This one has to go right. And this one we take left. Oh, damn it. Man, that was just my bad. Oh, right. How much do you want to bet there's going to be some like sliding block puzzles as well at some point? That's also a staple. Let's see. Only hearts. I guess those are guaranteed. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah. You can. So maybe, maybe I just collected that coin that was landing in the lava. Or maybe they do disappear in lava. You don't get that, like, animation of it. There we go. Of it, like, being picked up by the boomerang and taken back to you. And more of this. Alright. What do we have to do here? This seems pretty easy. I don't know. Yeah, I see the problem. Uh... This should work. No? We have to, like, shift this over even more. Wait, no, shit. I, I thought I didn't have this one in place. I, I could fix it there, or, like... That would have worked had I not done that order. Yeah, I guess we'll just do this instead. Oh. And yeah, that, that wouldn't have worked anyway. I'm just... I, I have the right idea, but I'm not thinking about... God damn it. I'm not thinking about it in the right order. Okay, so... This first. Then around here. Oh, no. No. Yeah, this one looked easy. Actually, the most complicated one, I would say. Or maybe I'm just overcomplicating it. That has been known to happen. And then there's going to be combat at the top, I suppose. To mirror the other side. Nope, just more of this. Okay, weird. Shit. No, that's not gonna work. 
Can I just go straight up here? Does that work? Yeah, there we go. You basically had two right for moving the block in the wrong position. And I can't quite remember. But like you need to do some some amount of juggling, it felt like, with the blocks. God damn it. I assume there's gonna be like a boss or something here. Actually, probably not. It's only been a room. No, maybe there is a boss. We'll see. Or just a little fight. And infinitely spawning flame things. So these are the, the fire mages, I suppose. So I guess defeating those meant nothing, that didn't do anything. And then here we need a key. Yep, we need a key. Jesus, these are stacking up a lot. Mini boss returns. Uh, that guy's having a good time. Um, hello? Okay. <laughs> There's always one derpy one. They are much weaker, at least, than the boss we fought before. And that's a small key already, then what the hell is on the right side? I guess maybe two small keys, or like another one, and you need both to progress. Yeah, just more of this. And a single spin attack is enough to kill them. almost landed on me. Oh no, it's just a potion. I wonder if if you go here first, does it give you the uh, the small key? And then if you go left after, would it give you another potion? Maybe. That doesn't explode these. Right, I'm gonna test. Yeah, okay. You can hit multiple times, you just have to, like... The hit stun has to wear off, so it can't be, like, too close... ...on the, uh, the tip of it, I guess? Maybe? Oh, I see. Uh, so, like, this kind of thing.
I see. I guess that's what you're meant to do. Just boomerang those from range. Yeah, I should be using the boomerang more. For some reason, I, I really want to, like, flip these around. I don't know why. It just feels more natural. I keep wanting to do the stomp on X, because I'm used to that, and for some reason... I think in Wind Waker, I always had the boomerang on the... What, like, the uh, the equivalent of the B button on... Uh, on GameCube. The X button, I think it was? Yeah, I guess enemies are, are just very, very tanky if you don't use the spin attack. It is just that strong. Well, the boomerang is a fun addition, at least, to the arsenal. The bow isn't too interesting, honestly, because, like, the bow isn't better than bombs in most situations. So it's just like, yeah, I guess I can hit switches now. It doesn't really do that much. But the boomerang has some, like, interesting ways you can use it and stuff. And it's better in combat, it feels. Like, it seems much stronger than the bow, but I don't know. Yeah, it's true. The more you spin attack, the more uncool you are. How many do I have? One more for a heart. Wow, it even one-shots these guys? Yeah, the boomerang is, like, way better than most of the things you have. Like, how many sword hits does it take for these guys? Three? And the boomerang does the equivalent of three sword hits, which is like the same as a spin, I think? Man, the boomerang is really good. And it doesn't even take that much energy, comparatively. Another checkpoint here. Uh, I don't know where to go. Let's go down, I guess. Oh, damn it. I assume I want to hit all of these switches. Oh, I gotta sneeze, maybe. Yep, actually sneezed. Oh, 
Oh, I thought it, like, closed it again, because it went back. There we go. But it did! God damn it. <laughs> like, I couldn't really do anything about that, because I was locked in an animation when the camera was going up there, so you have to, like, do this kind of thing. That's a little wonky. Like, it was used as a mini-puzzle earlier, but now it's like you're just trapped in a cutscene, so you can't really help it. Alright, boss time. It's gonna be a giant skeleton. Lily knew the ingredient she needed was near, but she also felt a dark presence. Was it a live dragon? Much worse. An undead dragon! Of course. Flame Guardian. Long have I desired to char the bones and flesh of a filthy human again. Okay, this guy is not nice. Tell me, what purpose does a pathetic little girl have in my fiery domain? Stand aside, demon! I'm leaving with an old snapdragon, whether it pleases you or not. Don't you know, foolish child? Those who fall to my flame, their soul becomes mine. You have prepared yourself... I mean... Really? Is it, like, what else would happen to it? I don't know. Maybe that's better than the alternative. You never know. You have prepared yourself for an eternity of torment and shadow. And I assume we want to use the boomerang a lot. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I can hit him as well, so yeah, maybe that's the way to go. Ah, maybe Boomerang is better. Since the Boomerang does so much damage, maybe we want to just use that. Because it's more safe as well. Yeah, I think so. That, that flashing is very annoying. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that guy was like way easier than the uh, the mini boss of the dungeon. And there we get the fiery, the flame spell. No, no, that was just the snapdragon. Surely we're gonna get a fire spell. They mentioned that, right? It's the recruit again. She gave up quicker than we thought. I came to give you an old snapdragon. Can this really be it? No question, its peppery aroma is already making my nostrils itch. A single recruit has given us yet another glimmer of hope. I'd like to find the third ingredient, but I don't know where to look. What bravery! Ice Orchid is found- yep. Ice Orchid? Snowfall Summit? Sliding Block Puzzles. You- you can- I can guarantee it. There is no way there won't be sliding block puzzles in an ice dungeon, right? Ice Orchid is found in the snowy lands of Snowfall Summit. The lift that will take you up there should be fixed now. Good luck. Head northwest from Blossom Castle to find it. Wait! Draw your sword, recruit! Flower sword? Did you call it? We now have a lightsaber. Now your roundhouse attack will be more powerful. May our blessing serve you well. Off you go now, young knight. Head north to Snowfall Summit and bring back an ice orchid. Well, I guess it didn't, didn't update the sword. We just have a better spin attack which already was pretty insane. But it does not improve the jump, only the spin. So maybe now this is actually worth using, just the instant spin. Possibly? To the northwest of Blossom Castle, you'll find a great lift that takes travelers to the frozen north. I should have a drink of water, one second. She like, taps her foot in the... Uh, what's it called? Not anticipation, in the... Uh... Oh man. 
I'm forgetting the word. The word for, like, impatience. There we go. The word for impatience. So I don't know if they mean northwest, like, here? Yep. I guess this was close before. Oh, and I see. If you press start, it automatically opens the menu. If you press select, it opens the uh, the map. I think I, I probably knew that already, but I forgot. Yeah, so now we can explore the upper half. And we have to go left there, which means, of course, I'm going to go everywhere else. And what is in that screen? Bottom left. Maybe we should try and try and explore there if I find a, uh, a teleport teleport pad. Oh, yeah, that spin attack is strong. I'm pretty sure a spin attack did not one shot one of these before. Let's do uh, this for now. Actually, let's swap them again. I don't know why that just feels better. Ooh, nice. The, the boomerang can cut grass as well. Can you climb up these vines? No? Okay, they, they seem a little suspicious. Let's just keep going right. I'm not going to explore every screen fully right now. I just want to, like, get to the bottom right if I can, and then explore from there. Oh, that's kind of a nice way to take those out. Okay, I thought you couldn't damage these guys at all without charging. Well, I guess I'm checking some stuff out here anyway. I gotta find that cave again that we left that I wasn't done with. I don't know what i do out here without mushroom soup. The red kind is spicy and delicious, while the yellow ones taste sweet and sugary. Old-timers say the nasty green mushrooms are good for digestion. Blah! The purple ones are yummy, but turn your hair the same color. Which is neat. The temporary blindness, not so much. Jesus. So I guess all of this is just mushroom soup? Red, yellow, and green mushroom soup? I thought it was like, this one was mushroom soup, or this one was mushroom soup, and the other two were just like potions. Suddenly rain. Man, there are so many enemies I hardly even want to bother killing them all. Yeah, let's just go down. Oh, this should unlock that, that, uh, like, oh, there we go. Suddenly Lily came across something amazing inside a grove of trees. That other gate thing. What was it? It was a house made of, out of candy. Yes, candy! Wait, candy? I was going to say... With gumdrops and peppermint and candy canes and... Oh ho ho, you two have quite the sweet tooth. Okay, it was a candy house. Lily couldn't wait to see who lived inside. I wonder what Grandpa was actually gonna say. That would have been nice if you got a choice for it instead. Yeah, I think if I go down, 
we'll unlock that, but I guess let's check out the house to begin with. Nothing behind here. Now we have even more efficient house destruction, thanks to the boomerang. I'll just steal your, uh, your life savings. Don't mind me. Baker Jen. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you expecting an evil witch? It's just me here, Baker Jen. My specialty is cupcakes. The secret ingredient is giant butterflies. I have an extra one if you'd like. Oh, thanks. That's kind of, uh, kind of gross. If you run out of butterflies, come back and I'll give you one. They're quite helpful and tasty. That's it? Yeah, I haven't used these. Maybe I should at some point just to, like, see what they are. Like, maybe in a boss fight, I should just turn one on and see what they do. Butterfly cupcake recipe. One crushed butterfly, one cup marsh mud, two spoons gnome butter. This is worse than a witch. Eight ounces of pinecone cocoa, half a cup of lumberjack tea, one dab of orc sweat. Yeah, I would have preferred... preferred a witch. Yeah, here we go. So now that's open and we don't really need to go there. And then I can't go to the right from up here. Maybe you snake around from above. Yeah, probably. Guess we have enough for more money if I need it. Kind of water mill? Botanist Langford. Do you like my plants? I have specimens from all over the world. The nutrient-rich water from the marsh helps them grow. I also use my own special fertilizer. To make it, I need druid feathers, skulls, mushrooms... See? This is why I, I kept them all along. Honeycombs, zombie brains, and a final ingredient I'm not at liberty to reveal. Ahem. Want to help? Bring me the ingredients I mentioned and I'll give you a nice reward. How many? Just one? One druid feather, one skull, one mushroom, honeycomb, and zombie brain. I think I have everything except the honeycomb, right? Zombie brain, feather, mushroom... Uh... What was the other, other thing? A skull. Skull and honeycomb. I don't have either. All right, so we need to find some enemies that drop those. Oh my god, I can, I can just destroy all his plants. Holy shit. I thought he was, like, telling me off. He, he doesn't mind. He doesn't really care about these plants after all. Are they just gone forever now? Nope, they're, they're back. I doubt those guys drop anything. And that's kind of it for this screen. Yeah, so let's go up. Yeah, honestly, I should just use the boomerang. Man. Yeah, these really are, like, the worst enemies.
Sure, let's just keep heading up. I'm not really exploring very thoroughly. Maybe I should? Like, now I won't really know which screens I haven't fully explored. So maybe I should try and explore each screen completely first, like I normally do. Oh. Well, this is something new. A temple, or...? Oh, a tower. Wizard tower. Are you gonna teach me a spell? Sage the mage! Ah, I sense there's more to you than sword and shield, young knight. Power flows from thy very life essence. Ah, but power is not enough. No, no, without a sharp memory, one can never harness that power and be the true hero. Prove thyself a master of thine own mind, and ye shall be rewarded. Oh god, I see. Oh man, why do we have to do these again? Oh boy. Forgot for a second there. Come on. Ah, oh, shit, it was two at the bottom right. And you have to do all of it over again? This is so fucking annoying, honestly. Like, sure, having this once, fine, twice, meh, but okay, now three times? Like, you don't need to put Simon Sess in your fucking game, Jesus Christ. I already forgot this one. I got it. And this much of it, too, it's so annoying. And again, like, if you're gonna do Simon Says, at least make it the version that just, like, adds one to the previous, uh, combination. So you just, like, learn or sequence, so you learn the one sequence. I don't know, this is just very frustrating. Or more tedious than frustrating. Man, that, that was a hard combination, honestly. There were, like, no doubles of any kind. Oh, fuck. God damn it, this is awful! Fuck off with this bullshit! Oh, man. Oh, God, I don't even- don't even wanna do this, it's so boring.
And again, if you like make a mistake, at least just make it so that you have to then re-remember a new new combination of the same tier. Holy crap. This is just awful. Goes up to eight. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking maybe I should even like write it down. I could do that. Yeah, let's do that because I'm, I'm getting sick of this. Alright, so I'll just make, like, top left one, top right two, and then three and four. I'm pausing before the last one every time so I can grab the pen again and get ready. Oh, I'm done. Thank fucking God. Jesus Christ. That, yeah, that's just, that's just not good. Why put that there? Like, why, what purpose does a fucking random Simon Says serve? Oh, man. I am not a fan. Thou art a wizard. Of course, everyone shall still call thee a knight. Except me. Now be off, young knight. No, wait. Be off, young wizard. That's all you fucking get? Give me a spell, goddammit, you stupid old man. Now that you're a wizard, you need an awesome name like me. My name can be Lily the Silly. Yeah, I was I was expecting this guy to be the guy that finally like teaches you a spell, one of three or something like that. God, that was so not worth it. Oh, more of this stuff. This looks kind of complicated. Hmm. What do we do with the, the left clump of them, of blocks? So, like, the top left one has to go one step right. It can't do anything else. So then... I guess we start by doing, like, this kind of thing and then going around? No, maybe? I don't know what to do at this point then. And I'm kind of screwed. So 
So I don't know if that goes there. I guess I can do this, maybe? Wait, I see. Uh, I guess I, I want to put this down here. Nope. Now this is not solvable. God damn, wow. Okay, this is a tricky one. These I don't mind at least. It's better than fucking Simon Says. I think I had something. I was close. I just, like, made a mistake in the order again. I forgot what I even did. Right. Right, right. Hold on. This to begin with. I guess, no, I can't even do this, because then, like, I can't push this one. Huh. Yeah, this kind of, like... What's the word? Like... Took off the training wheels. This game has been kind of a babby game, until now, in terms of puzzles and combat and everything. But this session, I feel like it's really stepping it up with the puzzles. Not that they're, like, insane or anything, but just definitely way harder than we've seen previously in the game. And, it's, like, it's almost like a, a wall, a difficulty wall in terms of the puzzles. It's just too many things to think about. I don't know where to begin. Maybe this one actually goes down where I'm standing, but then what do we do? Like, I can only do so much. Yeah, now this is not going to work. What the hell? Maybe we put this here, but then we actually move it later on? I have no idea. Yeah, now this is ruined as well, I think. Basically, yeah. You remember there being a hard puzzle in the game? This might be it. Well, in that case, you remember, like, a few moments, or like, at most a few moments, if it's this one stands out. So it's not like this is what the remainder of the game is going to be like, but who knows. Yeah, I just, I don't really know what to even do. Because it's, I'm getting close, but it's not quite there. I would need to get around somehow, and I can't do that anymore. I could get around this one.
Yeah, it, it's close. Maybe we do something where we actually push this up here and then this one left to begin with. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to actually push that. Now, I guess, what would that even do? That that can't be right. I, I feel like it's something where we actually push this here, do something, and then we have to go around and push it back again. Because it's not actually going to, like, be here. It's going to be down here. And then we'll, like, go around and push this one in place or something and this this down. Something like that. But the rest, I don't know. Shit, no. This isn't gonna work, is it? No, I'm stuck now. God damn it. What the hell is this puzzle? The top left is always the issue. I don't know what to do about the top left. How do we get the top left tile, like this one all the way over here, to the right? One step to the right, with something else being up, up left there. That means I, I have to not push this into place to begin with, so that we can go around the bottom. But then how do what what else do I do at that point? Ah, this is not going to work anymore. But once again, I feel like I'm relatively close. Yeah, this is close. I think I'm I'm getting it. Just have to do something different so that these aren't stacked up. I pushed the the top left too early. Like I need to do something about this block here. But I can't push this one up yet, because then I can't push this one back. And I can't push this one to the left. Then I'll just be stuck permanently. Do we push this one down again? No, that wouldn't, wouldn't do anything, right? Did I do it? No, no, I did not do it. 
Wait, I did do it. I just fucked it up right here at the end. God damn it. Okay, that was it. God damn it. I need to think before I push anything. Oh, man. I'm like forgetting what I even did. Did I push this one up? Oh, god damn it. I just had the solution, but now I'm not remembering like what I just did. That's so frustrating. It wasn't this, was it? No, this is not gonna work. What did I just do? God damn it, do I need to check my fucking VOD? Do I need to check what I just did? I had it. I had it. Everything was perfect. I just needed to push the left block up instead of the right block up or whatever I did. God damn it. What if I push this here, but now I'm like doing stuff that I didn't do before. Oh, god damn it. That is kind of annoying too, like, why not just have these be impassable walls? That would work just the same, and then you can have like a reset switch out somewhere. Like if you leave the area, it would reset or something, instead of just making accidental slips, just reset the puzzle. Yeah, I'm, I'm seriously considering just going back and watching what I did, because I had it. And this is not what I was doing. Oh, now I... now I didn't even do it right. That's not even what I meant to do. No, this is not gonna work. I needed to push back this one. I'm, I'm actually doing it. I'm gonna look at my own... My own stream, see if I find it, because I fucking had it. That is the worst in puzzles, when you you know you just had the solution, you just made one mistake, and then you can't remember what the solution was. It happens, like, all the fucking time. This block here. I don't even remember where I was at. And I can't push this one to the left. No, that wouldn't... Did I do it? Oh, yeah, here, okay. Alright, what did I do? So I start... It's because then I can't push this this block here. It's where do I start? Up. Okay, the, the here. Top left too early. We don't have to listen to me now. Now I know this is the thing I do. I'm just gonna watch it sped up a little bit.
Oh yeah, I'm like missing one step that I was doing. Hold on. So I did this to begin with, without pushing it all the way to the top, then just to get over here. But then what did I do? Let me check again. Can you speed up me? Why are you so slow at solving this? Come on. It's taking so long to get to the solution. Okay. I did this. That. And then, okay, now I need to be careful. So what do we do here? We push this one down. This one goes down. That's the thing I, I made a mistake with. And then up. Good fucking god. Yep. Wait, no! God damn it! When I wait, when I pushed what was I supposed to do there? Did I do I not have it? Is that not the solution? Did I mess up again? Or is there something more? Cause how would I get around there? Wait, what? Okay, I'm I'm getting a little annoyed at this puzzle at this point. I've never been a fan of like Sokoban style games, just block pushing games. Like medium difficulty ones, fair enough, but they just get really frustrating. Okay. Let's think about this. Can I can I even solve it from here? I think I can. Yeah, I just have to do this and then go all the way around again. So we can push this guy first. This guy second and finish down here. Good god. Man, that was an exhausting puzzle. And what is it gonna be? A fucking heart piece, right? Or like maybe an energy? Okay, all right. We'll see what this actually is. Money that I don't give a shit about. Money. Money. And one crystal. One heart piece. This game needs better rewards. Seriously. We need better things in this game than just heart pieces and energy pieces and scrolls that just give you some, like, random goof of the day. Man. Yeah, that that's kind of the main thing. Exploration doesn't really feel rewarded enough in this game, I feel. The exploration itself is fun. It's just like you do all that work for just just a, a heart piece. Or a scroll, or just something that doesn't matter at all. And again, like the, the great fairy fountains just do nothing either. Just uh, another heart piece, I guess. Can I blow these up? Yeah, I do have a lot of coins. You can blow them up and we raise the dead. Well, I guess we need zombie brains. Can I just, like, grab them as well? No. You do have to blow them up. You can even blow up the big ones. Not this one, though. Ah. That's kind of Zelda-like. Oh. But it's nothing. It's just those weird spots that we don't know what to do. Or what what to do with them. They seem... Oh, God. They seem important. But maybe that's later on.
What do I need 20 zombie brains for? I can't remember if I've like used it once or like completed that quest once before. If it's just money at this point or who needed that? Oh, there we go, finally. I figured at least some grave would have... No? That's not even a secret, never mind. I thought there was a hole to fall down in. Well, we are getting a lot of brains. Can I read this? No, just blow it up, I guess. No? Oh no. My bomb is my own worst enemy. And there's just nothing. Hmm. And this looks like a D-pad, but I guess that's just like a blossom symbol, so... Maybe we just can't do anything here right now? So I can't, like, drag it, can't blow it up, can't do a spin attack. Yeah? Guess I can't do anything here, right now. Kind of a weird, weird screen, weird graveyard. It's like, there's nothing, but I mean, I guess that's for later. What did I want to do? Right, when I found, found a uh, teleport, I wanted to go to Golem's Haven and just check that one screen over here that we haven't been to. If we can get there, left and then up, or up and then left, or around somehow. I guess, was there a uh, heart piece in the shop here as well? I think we should check that out. Just a scroll, but I'll take it. That's fine. I think there was a, either a heart piece or a... Oh shit, I just skipped. Damn it, what did that say? Crap. Uh, I'll clip my own thing. I can't... Damn it. Oh man. Back to watching my VOD. Or I guess, actually, much easier. I can just do this, since it's saved right when I entered here. The disciples couldn't believe that young knight, that the young knight had brought them old Snapdragon. Her next destination was Pinecone Village to the north. The great lift is going to be so cool. Yeah, there we go. The druid elder told me he was Crocus's teacher during his apprenticeship here. According to him, Crocus always showed great talent in the art of magic, but he was also unruly and easily annoyed. He couldn't accept that his brother would be king and not him. Grouchy or not, we're lucky to have a powerful wizard protecting our kingdom. Yep. 
Crocus is always a nice guy. And the shop is cleared out. Yep. And another drink of water. There we go. So I want to go up from here. Have I been here? Oh, this is where I went, right? Like, I was in the screen and then went in here, and this takes you all the way to the right of the... Yeah. No? Nope, never mind. There was something that, like, took you all the way to the right side, and then we kind of forgot about this stuff. Boy, am I glad you're here. I was digging for rare druid artifacts when my shovel fell down, he fell down here. Care to help me find it, young knight? Oh, there we go, we finally get the shovel. I guess I could have had this a long time ago, probably. Or maybe not. No, yeah, you could. You just needed the bombs. God damn. It just fell into a chest somehow. A shovel! Now Lily can dig for buried treasure. She's a knight with a shovel. I love it. I wonder what that's a reference to. Haha, wait, I don't get it. Neither do I. I definitely don't get it. Ah, oh, damn it. Aw, oh, it's all banged up now. You go ahead and hold on to it. I'll use the extra one I completely forgot I had with me. Alright, well, there we go. So now we actually have something we can do with all those random spots. I'm assuming most of them are just... Oh, you get one coin. Oh. Guess you have to stand like this. All right, well, more than one coin. But maybe a couple of special ones will be, uh... Have, like, actual stuff. Heart pieces and whatnot. Maybe some scrolls. And I wonder, I guess these are one time. So, like, we, we use them once and then they're gone. Oh man, yeah, we're gonna have to like mow all the grass in the land again, because some of the grass contains these spots. Also, I kind of want to swap these around now. At least I think the grass had some spots like that. Alright, let's just confirm. If I leave, those spots don't come back, right? They do not come back. Alright, good. So that means we should clear out every single screen, all the grass, everything, just to like make sure I get all of those spots, because that's the only thing. We only need to do it once. Yeah, there we go. You can get other stuff. Confirmed. So can you just spin attack these? No. You have to specifically jump attack. You can't, like, dig right here. Well, you can. Doesn't do much good. You got it late game and had to go around 
lawning, mowing the lawn again. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what's happening to me, though not late, late game, but like half the map is already completed and I've seen so many of those spots. Now we're gonna have to go around and clear out everything again. And yeah, we're just in this screen. I don't know why I didn't go here last time, like why I just left and went somewhere else. Oh, wow, yeah, that's pretty good. Definitely seems like it's worth doing this. I imagine there's gonna be some uh, heart piece or energy piece. Ow. Can't blow these up or dig them up. All right, guess that's that. I mean, hell, there could even be stuff like up here. If you come from the other side, other screen, it's possible. But I'm not sure this is worth checking. I guess I should probably just check when I'm there. Otherwise that'll just take far too long. Are you hostile? No, it's the Deku Tree. This is the ruler of the tree spirits that live in Golem's Haven. Great. Totally original tree creature. Tree Lord, you have removed Crocus's influence over all the tree spirits. We are forever in your debt. Oh, I see. Damn, so I, I should have come here earlier when I hadn't. When it was like, oh, Crocus has corrupted my tree spirits. You have to, uh, have to, whatever, free them. Thank you again, young knight. You you and your descendants will always be our friends. And that also like makes it make sense why you get healed when you uh kill those tree things, because you're like freeing them. Oh. Ah oh, damn. Thought it was a secret. Only the tree lord was able to resist your wizard's influence. All right, there we go. Yeah, I don't know if I should bother with the shovel stuff right now. Maybe not. I mean, I'm yeah, I guess I'm going to have to go around with all this later. Yeah, so like now we could go up here and go left so there could be something up here. Need to spend those coins. You got so many. Well, I don't even know if there's a cap Oh, we can't go past here. I don't know if it caps out at like 999 or if it just keeps going. So I might not be in any rush to spend them. Honestly, it might be worth checking. Just get 999 coins and see if it goes up past 1000. Oh boy, yeah, we're gonna have to do this eventually, but let's maybe try and not do it right now. Really wish you could like mow the lawn with this thing. That would have been lovely. Because yeah, I don't think the boomerang is really better than just sorting things. Maybe we learn some like new sword art or something at some point that would actually make it even quicker. No clue. But for now, let's just leave Okay, let's check the town screen at least. So we've done that.
Yeah, I don't know if this is faster. Doesn't really feel like it. Compared to just walking and slashing. There's one. Yeah, I can't even remember where the shock was that I need to actually go to. Was that just in the starting town that still had stuff for me to buy? Surely there's going to be at least one more of these holes somewhere. Warning, Cursed Woods. You can still read it, even though it's completely broken. It's also the well. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, the well. I forgot about that. Should definitely do that. But yeah, we're, we're close enough to 999 that I want to get to that before I check or, like, spend anything. Yeah, I guess that's that. Alright. Wait, hold on. Can you go up here? Oh, you can. Well, it doesn't do much. So yeah, we'll probably get more stuff here in the cemetery. Now I need to uh, blow up everything again and mow the lawn. I'll at least, like, check all the grass for all the new screens from now on, so we don't have to do that later on. But the old ones that I've already been to, I don't want to go through right now. Maybe we'll do that next time or something, or I might leave it for a bit. Yeah, we need that spin attack from Wind Waker, where you just charge it up and then start spinning like a maniac. In like a controlling... controllable manner. That doesn't reach all the way, damn. Yeah, it seems like four is the max. So why do these look different? Like, this will disappear after a second, but... But why is it like that? Yeah, I guess this is a way to just heal up as well. Though, so you could just hit a bunch of grass and that would have the same effect. I'm assuming I can probably, uh, smash the graves as well. No? Maybe not the big ones? Oh, this one had a secret. And yeah, two here. So surely this is like a heart piece or something. I like that you don't have to be super precise. Nope, just money. Can you like... 
Oh, wow. Yeah, you can move this wherever you want. Getting close. Just like one or two more of those batches. Yep, you can go above 999. All right, well, I guess there's no cap, or if it's a cap, then maybe it's like 10,000 or even more than that. You never know. Yeah, maybe it's 9,999, possibly. But I guess in that case, let's go to the well. Because I was curious about that. Wait, these are back already? Or did I... I didn't blow these up. Yeah, there might be another one here. Yeah, here we go. I wish there was, like, a, uh, quest objective. Yeah, like, side quest objective would be nice. Just, like, who told me to get skulls or, uh, brains and stuff like that. And, yeah, just that thing with bring me a druid feather and whatever. And the skull and the honeycomb that should also show up in, like, a log. That would be cool. Maybe do it in the same way that, uh, Ori does it. Ori and the Will-O-The-Wisps, where it's like pointing at the screen, like you could scroll through. Where is this quest? And it would like blink on the map. That would be really good. But yeah, okay, whoops. Let's leave that. So, this one? You don't think anyone told you 20 brains yet? I see. So I guess that's just for later. Oh man, you really do have to mow every single piece of grass in the in the game. Well, there we go. Yeah, we've had souls, feathers, and mushrooms, but not brains yet. What happens if you dig in the water? You can't. You can't dig here. So where was that well? Was the well up here? Uh... No, it was, like, up and to the right, I think? Can't quite remember. Oh. Well, what was this again? Oh, the fairy. I mean, sure, let's check in. Yeah, there's not too many grassy areas here. Don't be greedy. You do get healed here, at least. So that is one purpose of the uh, fairy fountains. Not that they're very obvious, like... Since they're so rare, you would think they would look cooler from the outside than just a hole in the ground. So instead of, like, going and finding a fairy fountain, you're probably better off just mowing the lawn. There we go. Whoops.
Yeah, let's try and get to the, the well, see what that is, and then I might leave it there for tonight. I'm getting a bit tired, especially after that block-pushing one. The Simon Says and the block-pushing puzzle back-to-back, -back, that was, uh, that didn't do me any good. Where the hell is this, this well? Is it here? I don't remember. Is it below me? Here we go. One more chance, 250 coins. I promise you won't regret it. There we go. You have more? 500 coins, just 500 coins. This is it, I can feel it. Heart piece, a thousand? The best wishing well in the kingdom, at your service. Donate 150 coins, no way. Okay, well let's, uh, let's go and save. We'll just leave the screen, come back, and then donate 150 and see if anything happens. I imagine maybe you just get like a repeatable thing, just like a potion over and over and over. A potion. Okay, I, I need like eight more coins. Does anything here even drop coins? God damn it, it's all just like souls. Yeah, I, I wanna... wanna load. If I could have 300 coins, I could just check if it's the same every time. Same potion, same color. Can I dig them up here? Oh, I can't dig here, even though I could earlier? Interesting. I don't know why I, like, managed to dig on one spot then. If you weren't supposed to do that. Here we go. Show me one of those... those things. Yep, there we go. That should be some money. Damn it. Yeah, okay, we have 300. Let's check it. All right. No? Butterfly? I guess you just get a random consumable. Yeah, something like that. Okay, let, let's test it one more time. Like, can you get resurrection flowers or something? Because I guess you could gamble, essentially, until you get a resurrection flower for 150, because that would be worth it. If they're normally, like, 500 baseline in the shops. So I think you can only buy, like, one from the shop. Come on. Just potions again. I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe it's a, there's a small chance you can get something like that. But let's leave it there for Blossom Tales. I, I am enjoying it still, but yeah, <laughs> some, some things I am not enjoying as much. And, uh... There's a little bit of a difficulty spike here and there, and certain design choices that are more tedious than interesting, and it's still doing the, like, copy Zelda step-by-step step in pretty much everything, like, we got the boomerang! Yep, there you go! 
You know, like most of the boss designs are very similar to Zelda bosses. Most of the dungeon designs are very similar to, to Zelda dungeons and the puzzles and everything. So Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. And then what's unique? Not all of it is bad, but some of it ends up feeling just tedious. But yeah, there, there's some like unique stuff as well with the sword mechanics and certain like the stomp and the bombs are cool in the stamina system and all that. So yeah, still enjoying it. We'll see when I come back. I initially was thinking like, oh, maybe I'll want to stream Blossom Tales twice in one weekend because I'm enjoying it so much. Might still happen. We'll see what else I might stream. So yeah, we'll see. Otherwise, uh, maybe next weekend. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow we'll play some other stuff. I don't really know what yet. I haven't decided. I have quite a few things. I actually want to revisit a hat in time again. It's been a long time and there's like a new challenge road and stuff like that, so I, I might do that. I don't know, we'll see. But good night.